All right, so here we go, man, jumping into another one. Every time I do an Android type video, people always ask me, what is my icon setup? What is my wallpapers? What's the launcher? And they ask me so many questions that I have to always answer over and over again. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a quick video about how I customize my S22 Ultra and really any of my Android devices, whether it's a foldable or flip, Pixel really doesn't work well with my launcher of choice, but when it comes to Samsung devices, this is usually always gonna be my setup, all right? So let's go ahead and step through it, and I know y'all see the icon in the wallpaper, but we're gonna get to that a little bit later, all right? I kinda like to step through it through layers of the tiers of what display that you see in, when you pick up the phone, all right? So starting off right here, we gotta look at my always on display, all right? And then we'll get into my lock screen and then we'll get into my home screen set up with the icon pack launcher and everything like that. But right off hand, you see that I am using, of course, I always set up my Android devices to have always on display. I just absolutely love it. I wish every phone out there, even you iPhone, I wish everybody had always on display. But one thing that's different that you see here is the clock style, all right? You see I have a different looking clock. You see the time and then you see the date that kind of slashed in the middle of it. That is gonna come from Good Lock, all right? And this is gonna be the first time that you're gonna hear about Good Lock. You're gonna hear about it a few times during this video. Now, I'm pretty sure you're like, where can I get Good Lock if you're not familiar with installing it on a Samsung device? A lot of you may already know about it, but for those who don't, that's what this video is for, all right? So we're gonna go down and we're gonna go to our Galaxy store all right and then you're gonna go ahead and type in good lock all right so good lock is gonna be an application that really lets you just unlock your Samsung's phone potential I really feel like good lock should be almost like a factory app in my opinion man good lock is just so good it lets you customize so many different things whether it's your quick panels whether it's your lock screen whether it's your clock widget routines they have so many different things that you can actually go in in good lock and download all right so good lock is definitely it's going to be a free app so you don't have to pay for it or anything you just go to your galaxy store and download it and what i have downloaded is and let's go back to the let's go to the actual app itself so where's my good lock good lock good lock uh, boom there it is right there good lock and we're going to go to unit all right so these are the different things that you can download. You got Lockstar, Quickstar, Clockface, Multistar, Navstar. So all of these things let you basically customize your experience when it comes to the S22 Ultra. And for me, I have, it's not Lockstar, all right? It is Clockface, all right? So when you go to Clockface, you got always on display or your lock screen. So we're gonna go ahead and go to always on display and it's basically gonna load up, it's gonna do its thing. And then it's gonna pull up and it's gonna have an arrangement, an assortment of different clock faces that you can choose from. I mean, all types of different clock faces that really let you customize your Samsung device to your liking. And of course, once you click on one, you can kind of click on one and you can actually customize it, whatever color combination you want. If it is a particular color palette that you want, you'll be able to actually customize it. And let's just go ahead and back up out of here and hit discard. But you'll be able to customize it to your heart's content, all right? You go pick one, you hit apply, and that's basically how you change your clock on your lock screen, all right? So that's gonna be the first wave. Double tapping it, we're gonna go to my lock screen, all right? Now the lock screen is also gonna be another widget, another clock style from Good Lock, all right? So the way we get to that is, and let's go back to Good Lock, let's go to clock face, but this time you'll go to lock screen, all right? So you go to lock screen, it's basically gonna put up the same format just like you did with the always on display, except it pulls in your background so you can actually see how the clock looks on your background, all right? So all of these different clocks, you can have a different clock from your always on display and you can have a different clock for your lock screen. That's basically how I have it set up. You can change it up however you want to, but that's basically how you're gonna get your, your watches. You can click on this. Once again, you can edit it. I don't know how much, like you might can't edit this one much, but a lot of these you can click on and, and edit and do whatever you want to it. And I think you can kind of move it around and do some different things like that. But that's basically how you do the, the clocks. That's basically how I have my clock set up. Lock screen, good lock, double tap it. It's gonna be another good lock type of uh, clock right here. And then you are good to go. And then let's go ahead and get into the phone itself and let's get to the home screen because this is where I get asked the most questions in my video, all right? Especially when it comes to wallpapers. You guys always ask me, what wallpapers am I using? But before we do that, 
Let me go ahead and talk about the icon pack that I use because the icon pack is basically where I get my wallpapers from. So the icon pack that I use is going to be called Line X. All right. Now you can go download this in the app store, but bonus right here. If you are interested in this icon pack, I have about 50 free codes to this icon pack, man. So what I need you to do is hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram, whatever you do, follow me on either one of those platforms, which is at technically T and be like, yo T, let me get one of those codes and I got you. All right. So if everybody with Android, if you're interested in this icon pack, let me know. I got those free codes for you to give away. So this is basically what it is. You're going to download this from the app store and this may be cheap. This legit may be like two bucks, man. So, but if you want it free, I got you. So I just love this icon pack, all right? I've, I use this icon pack for, <laughs> for a while now, it seems like, and I just can't get away from it because it just looks so good when it comes to the vibrant screens on your Samsung devices. So you'll basically go to the app store. You're basically going to download, and let's, let's put it up so I can go ahead and show you. So line X. All right, go ahead and type in Line X. And as you can see, there's a few different Line X icon packs. You can get us a particular color that you want, or if you want just a multicolor icon pack like I use right here, then you can rock with it, all right? And then you can just basically apply Line X and you are good to go. Now, I am using Nova Launcher to apply my custom icons. I'm not sure if you can do it on the Samsung stock widget. I think you can on the, the stock launcher, but I always use Nova Launcher and we'll talk about that a little bit a little bit later on. But that's basically how it is. So when you go download Line X, it'll pull up your home screen. It'll let you know how many icons you got. There are certain templates that you can use. You can really, really get deep into this icon pack for customization. But a lot of people ask about my wallpapers. And down here, it has a wallpaper section, all right? So Line X basically has a custom set of wallpapers that I guess they're curated to go along with their wallpaper pack. All different ones from multicolor to nature to very subtle. Some clean wallpapers in here, in my opinion, if you want to check them out. But for everybody asking me where I get my wallpapers from, it's Line X. Even if I use a different icon pack, which I probably wouldn't, if I did, I probably would still go to Line Next just to download their wallpapers because they are that good. All right. So that's basically where you're going to get the wallpapers from. And then you apply it. Boom. You're good to go. You can either apply it to your home screen or your lock screen. Now, if you don't want to use the icon pack and you like T, I just want some dope wallpapers. Yeah, you can download the Line Next icon pack and then use the wallpapers in there. Or you can also go to another app, which is called Emmaled. Dot in. All right, so let me go here. MLED.IN. This is basically going to be a free app, but they do have a paid version. I like to support people who do these apps because I use them time and time again. So support the people out here who put the work in for these wallpaper packs and stuff like this. But this is a, a, a wallpaper app specifically. All right, so you can basically go to, let's see, you can, okay, boom, boom. Okay, I know about all that. So let's back out of this and you can go to the different categories. All right, you got 4K abstract animals anime architecture automobiles cityscape illustrations light neons minimal miscellaneous so many different type of wallpapers that you can choose from i like to go to 4k because those wallpapers are just very crisp man they look really good when it comes to this s22 ultra and just like i said man this is going to be a wallpaper pack all right so you're basically going to scroll through it i don't really got to tell you how to use a wallpaper pack you know app so you scroll through it boom you you hit download and you can download it you can apply it do whatever you want to do and go about your business so this is going to be a nice app i also use this app in conjunction with my icon packs because mled.in has some very very nice icon packs and don't worry in the description of this video i'll have the links and the the, the names of everything that i'm talking about in this video if you can't get it all but last but not least we got to talk about my custom launcher of choice and i use nova launcher and nova launcher prime because i do pay for nova launch because i've been using it for years and i just like it because once again the level of customization that you can get on your home screen i like to have this many apps in my dock all right i like to have my main go-to apps in my dock at all times so i like that you can add up to i don't know six or i mean how many is this right here i got six in here that may be the max you may can add more but i always like the ability to add however many apps in my dock that i like and i always like to be able to change the actual grid layout of the home screen to whatever that I like it and I like to be able to turn the text off of the icons because I don't need it to say Instagram I don't need it to say Twitter I already know what those apps are called so I always turn my icon labels off so that's basically how I run it and Nova Launcher is just this really requires a, an entire video 
to explain the customizations that Nova Launcher can do. Like, I don't even think I have it mine completely set up because I like to wear, I like to be able to double tap in a blank space. Oh, yep, I do have it set up. So as you see right there, I, I like it set up to where I can double tap on a blank space and it pulls up settings. So I don't have to go down here and swipe settings. No, I just go here, boom double tap in a blank space and it pulls up settings. You can actually pull a double tap to open the app to do different commands. You can do different speeds. You can do different transitions. Yo, Nova Launcher is literally just endless. And then you can back it up, get a new phone, up restore your setup so you don't have to go through and set the whole phone up all over again when it comes to Nova Launcher, all right? So Nova Launcher is gonna be another thing that you're gonna get out of the Google Play Store, all right? So not to differentiate, the only thing that you get from the Samsung store is gonna be good luck. Everything else that I talked about, whether it's the AMOLED wallpaper app, whether it's Linux, Icon Pack, and Nova Launcher, you're all gonna get that from the Google Play Store, all right? So that's basically it. That's how we set everything up, man. Like I said, Linux for the icons, you got the wallpapers that you can use within the Linux app or AMOLED.in, you got your Lock screen, always on display from Good Lock. Double tap it. You have another clock widget right here from Good Lock. All right. So, like I said, if you are interested in the icon pack in this video, hit me up on my socials, man. Or just be like, yo, T, comment down below in the comments. But I don't want anybody to steal your discount code. So, make sure you contact me personally. If you have a question about my setup, let me know. I'm in the comments deep as always. Let me know what question you got. I'm here to answer them. But if you made it to the end of this video, let me see those flex emojis. Everyone, please be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.